Hi everyone. Um, I've just been watching a video by Craft Granny and um, she inspired me actually because I have several different kinds of butterflies. Which is, I'm not sure if you can see that one. A gorgeous one. It's one of them laser cut ones. Again, that's a laser cut one. Just a plain one. Another fancy one from Samuel Taylor's. And that one. Plus, um, I've got those that I make myself. Um, I just, I saw what she was doing. And I could immediately see what I would do. So, I'm not copying. <coughs> because I'm, well, I am in a way. But I saw something in her artwork that she did with her uh, canvas. And I thought it was absolutely gorgeous what she did. And... Um, but it just needed something. But then it gave me an idea. Well, you know, I've got several butterflies, different ones. Um, do something with them. So what I'm going to do is do something. And I'm going to take you through it as I do it. Oh, look, a bit of poetry. So what I'm going to use first. And I'm only using chipboard. I'm not using a canvas. Um, I just want to try it with chipboard. So I'm going to try and get my mouse thing out of the way. So I don't get plastered in there. Um pick up my inch brush I'm using the clear gesso and I'm just going to basically seal the um, chip mold sorry I get engrossed in what I'm doing and I stop talking Yay, what I'll say. <laughs> but um, I did love that. Uh, I'm not sure, and I've forgotten what your actual name is. I'm really sorry, but, you know, I have that many people contact me. It's really hard sometimes for me to remember who I am, let alone anybody else. But I know it was Crass Granny's video I was watching. I mean, nip along and see it because it's absolutely gorgeous. She's done a really, really good job if you've not already seen it. Right, so that's the uh, clear gesso. And we're going to be using that again afterwards, but I just wanted to put it on first. Oops. Um, and I'm just going to soak my brush. I've got several brushes in one pot, so... Should have cleaned them and I haven't, but never mind. For now, we've got the fine. Just gonna give this a quick dry. because you don't have to dry it off altogether. You don't have to use a canvas, by the way. I'm just letting you know that. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is... Oh, when I get the uh, bottle open, is I've got some white acrylic paint. And what I'm going to do now is just take another brush, which is rather a tatty old inch and a half one that I've got. I've had this for a long time. And I'm just going to stipple it. I can't speed up my um, camera thing, so I'm doing it straight from a webcam. But I will go as quick as I can. Because with this type of work, you can paint as quick or as slow as you want. So I'm just going to cover the whole canvas. Not canvas, sorry, chipboard. 
<coughs> and just by stippling gives the background a little bit of texture. Any little lump, lumpy bits just take them out. you do it to be honest the better the stipple and I don't want it to dry just yet so I'm going to add another colour which is my favourite colour long to do this. <coughs> I'm hoping you can see most of the board. So that's that. Now, while that's still wet, like I say, and without changing the brush, um, then I'm going to use a little bit of uh, plastic to put this on. This little boo. Oops. What I've done is I've got some lilac. I love this colour and I'm just going to stipple that on as well all over really want it everywhere well I mean I put it everywhere but I want it in different shades so just pop that on there oops now what I am going to do is to uh, dry this off so I might have to come back but uh, I'll see how we get on Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold the heat gun over areas, well I'll hopefully do it all, um, and I want it to bubble, and that's the texture I'm after.
I'm just going to leave that now to one side to dry. So I'll come back and finish, you know, that bit in the next video. That has to dry more. <coughs> Excuse me. And then what I'm going to do now is we're going to sort these. And <coughs> excuse me. What I do want is um, some mediums. So I'm going to do. Let's have a look. I think we'll do a glass bead one. I'm just give that a shake. Oops, a bit better. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I've got a blooming cough now. I'm get my knife. Now this one I'm going to put on this one, uh, on the flat one. And then I'm going to leave that one. We'll have a different one on each butterfly. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my word. Coffee took woman might be a sick note. Um, trust me to get the same one out really. uh, This is a sand textured one. Oof. we'll do the small one with I think and it's just a match of giving it a quick coat sorry if I'm not showing you sorry I always do that don't I <laughs> So I've just given it one layer of that and we can take off all the excess, excess later. Um, the next one is the modelling paste, so we can do that. Um, and I'm going to do this next solid one. It's just spreading it on. <coughs> 